This is the, the you... push. Ooh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh, they got the fire roll with hot oh. Cheeto dust on top. <laughs> and what's really interesting is that this is green tea noodles. And your first piece says a lot about you. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> all right, what's up everybody? Welcome to a special Fung Bros food. We are gonna be checking out all the newest restaurants in Koreatown, New York. I got some friends with me, Ruth, Christine. All right, our first spot is Kai Ten Sushi. This is the biggest conveyor belt sushi in all of New York City. Let's check it out. All right, you guys, we are at Kai Ten Sushi. Of course, it's 2023, you order off an iPad. And what's gonna happen is that the food is gonna fly down this conveyor belt and deliver it straight to us. It's cool that they have a lot of different and like yeah, new sushi rolls. Like they have obviously some non-traditional stuff. All right, you guys, everything comes out in fours. Round one is here at uh, Kai Ten Sushi. So good, yummy. Oh, we got a robot delivering ramune. What year is this? Listen guys, it's 2023. The robots galore. Oh, the DC can't have a New York meal without Diet Coke. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Kenny Bot. Hey, and it moves with music. It's like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> man, I gotta try this chashu roll, man. I've yeah. actually never seen this before. Oh, the hot food's coming out too. Yes. What, what's you guys' first I, piece? Your first piece says a lot about you. You know, <laughs> I, I went the pork. You went they with the salmon, okay. The OG. Solid pick. Simple. Okay. Uh, this. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Honestly, Kaiten Sushi already, I'm having fun. That's why I like spots like this because there's so much action yeah. from where they're making it, then it mm. flies out, then it you does, grab it. It doesn't feel like a uh, hyper serious omakase when you got it. It's extremely dynamic. Actually, the history of the conveyor belt sushi stretches back to 1958, so it's been around for a minute. Should Guys, we cheers? cheers. 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 Seared salmon. I feel like that this roll is very, very popular amongst people who want a non-traditional piece, but. I'm in the Alpacore. I know not everybody goes for the white fish when they eat sashimi platters. This is it, aren't right, you guys? Saba, karage. Salad. Seared salmon. <laughs> Yo. When you see that steam, this karage is fresh, man. Everything is made to order. I love it. And it's pretty fairly priced, you know, especially you're in New York City. You get to sit down, eat sushi right away. All right, you guys, we're going to try this gyu udon with the smala. Smala. All right, Christine, what do you think about this style of conveyor belt sushi? Because there's like different styles of it. I actually prefer this kind of style better because like the conveyor belt, like, you know, it kind of goes around and you don't know if like someone else is going to pick that up. And like if they do, you have to wait again. Right, and then this you're one, mad like, at that other table because exactly. you're like, I wanted that. It's like, now you have to wait. But then this one, it's like come to order, made to order. So I feel like it's like a little bit hygienic too. Oh, got to try their scallop. Mmm. Nice and chilled. Hey, you guys want to know what the kitchen looks like? Let's go. Okay, here she's making a hand roll, nicely put together. Oh, this is this is mastery at work. Look at how tight she folds it. They got orders coming in, the dinging. Very fast place. She's got the rolls right there. They're making rolls right there. They got the sushi rice right here. And then they got the authentic Japanese box for the seaweed. The nori sheets right here. I see. Oh! I'm telling you, the quality is really good here. This is their nigiri station. Listen, it's operating just like an omakase. You have the sliced salmon, put it on the rice, ready to go. All right, you know, when you're at Kaiten, you gotta do the ramen punch. What do you call it, the slap? This is the, the what do you push. Agadashi tofu with smala. Oh! Mmm! 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 This is the sushi cocktail and it has like different types of salmon. It has spicy salmon and then the salmon sashimi and then it has the salmon roll. And then here you got the avocado salmon roll right here. So I think it's cool that here, you know, they kind of have the liberty to introduce new rolls. And even this one coming up, yo. Oh, they got the fire roll fire. with hot Cheeto dust on top. <laughs> you a hot Cheeto girl? Are you a hot? Yo, you're from Cali. Yo, yo, yo. You didn't call me Avi. Right. So, wait, so, so you're you're the type to put hot Cheetos on your profile. You're like, I. No. Cheers. 
I've never eaten sushi out of a cocktail glass. Mm. Whoa. Trying smala on their soft shell crab. This is fresh. This is hot, guys. Everything is made to order. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Yummy? Oh, shoot. This is like warm sake. Hey. First time trying warm sake. It goes down smooth. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. All right, everybody, so come check out Kaiten Sushi. Brand new, great for the office crowd, great for lunch. You can come in here, get high quality sushi, eat as much as you want or as little as you want. But we gotta keep it moving because we are going to one of the best KBBQ spots in all of K-Town, Tungro. Oh, yeah. well, I, I try to pull it in well, deep for my No, 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 no. we're going to Tungro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they did a really good job of making Chongro feel like Korea, right? Yeah, it kind of feels like we're walking on the streets of Korea trying to eat some mud tea. Mmm. <laughs> and what if, what if, how about dancing through the streets of Korea? All right, we're here at Jangro, and we're about to have their famous beef platter. You know, the decor is really dope. It's based off like 1980s Korea, and they got like all this pop culture on the wall. They got history on the wall. It's like part museum pop-up too. I love the energy of the 80s here. How excited are you? <laughs> so excited. How excited are you? So excited. <laughs> and we got Demi, just your local Costa Rican Chinese joining us. Estoy super, super emocionada a probar estas carnes. super famoso, patos de Corea. <laughs> All right, Christine, so for the people like me who have had Korean barbecue many times but don't know the exact names of the side dishes such as this, can you break it down? This is Yang Hachi. Okay, that's a tough name. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one. Yang. Is there a shorter one? Can I say Yang? Maybe I'll go. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, what is this? And this is Pamuchim. Pamuchim, okay. I feel like I can say that. Have it with Korean barbecue. Is this, oh, let me guess, a macaroni salad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> macaroni salad, of course. This is a uh, yangpa salad, also for the barbecue. Yangpa salad, and then of course, the kimchi. Classic, must have. All right, Ruth, everybody eats Korean barbecue sort of their own way, right? Like, what yeah. is your style? Okay, so this is called a tangshu. It's like Korean lettuce. Add a little bit of this. Add a little bit of sauce. That and is what, samjang? Is that the sauce? Samjang, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also, I kind of like adding this sometimes. And if you guys really want, you guys can add rice. This is Ruth's wrap. This is my wrap. <laughs> Keto friendly. Mm. All right, Christine, <laughs> what, what's your style? My style, actually, I just like it straight kogi. Kogi, just straight meat. Oh, sorry, that was too much. Straight meat, and then dip it in the salt. Okay, just meat just and salt. Just the salt, yep, that's it. Okay. Trying smala on jungle. Oh, a little beef wrap. Mmm. Yo, Christine, I've never had this dish before, actually, at any restaurant. What is it? So this is basically like an old school lunchbox where you would have or pack for like uh, school mm -hmm. back in the day. And so what he's gonna do, what Tay is gonna show us, is he's gonna close it and shake it up, shake it up oh, and make hey. it like a pukumbap, which is kind of like fried rice. 1980s public school style. Let's do it. Shake Go ahead. Shake it up. Shake it up. Yeah, Tay. Do it, Tay. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, with the, with the K-pop soundtrack oh in the back, it's perfect. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry. Almost had it. All right, let me try this. This is my first time getting the lunchbox. Has anchovies, got a little sausage, mm. egg. Oh, oh this is good. What about this? This I feel like this is almost mm. like another like lunchtime dish, okay. right? This is like an all-time favorite childhood memories. It's called topoki, and then this like little thing is called kimari. It's like fried clear noodles. So what I do is I dip it in the topoki sauce and mm. crunchy, crispy, chewy. Yo, Not a lot. I like that a lot. I I actually prefer that even over the dapoki itself. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna make something called osomek. You add beer and soju. I add one shot, put it in there, and then Look at this the mixology. magic shit. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa. That's how you mix it. And 
Homek. Slamming spoons. Hamun Paja. But what Hamun. would you call it in Spanish? What? Pancake? Pancake de mariscos? <laughs> Pancake de mariscos, okay. It's <laughs> Spanglish. <laughs> Let's do it. I, what I like about Zhang Rou's pancake is that it's super crispy on the outside. I think certain pancakes are very more fluffy like a cake or almost like wet, but this is like a crispy pancake. What do you, what do you see? What do you see? Oh my God. Uh, There's like camarones y burbos. Arentros. Camarones, burbos. Mm. I love it because it reminds me of a scallion pancake. Okay, so this is called Wunnengyeon, and what's really interesting is that this is green tea noodles, which right, I've never tried before. Because typically, what noodle is it? It's like buckwheat. Buckwheat, it's like brown thin noodles, but this is green tea noodles. So I'm gonna take a bite. Does it taste like green tea? No, not really, but I mean, it's green. In this corner, we got the Favorite. The pibin damyang, which pibin is the damyang. spicy namyang with yes. the soup on the side. So usually when you get pibin damyang, the soup doesn't come out on the side. But what I like to do is get the soup on the side and then put it in here. So you were passionate, Christine. You, very you, you passionate. You made this very special passionate. order. And what I notice is that when Koreans do cold noodles, they do an ice cold. There is literally yep. ice in the soup. Slushy, slushy. Okay. So would you normally eat this in the summertime to cool down? Or For sure. This is this is the staple dish that you would have during the summer to cool down on a hot ass day. Mm. And if you're really a nigga lover, you gotta break the yolk. Break the yolk. Oh, shave it up so yep. that the yolk becomes <laughs> kind of cloudy and yep. then it creams up the. That's what you gotta do. Wow. That's how you know Christine, you're a Christine, such high eater. tech, <laughs> such high technique. <laughs> Ooh, oh, oh, I think you know what you need to buy at them. Open up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Mm. <laughs> refreshing with a kick. I, I guess I could taste a little bit of the green tea, but ultimately it's just very cool and refreshing, and that's what I like about it. All right, everybody, we're finishing our meal here at Jongro, and then now we're going to Gopcha. All right, so three floors up from Jongro, we got Jongro Gopchang. They opened up two years ago, and they got Gopcha. The main difference is they have a bar over here. Mm, and a DJ booth, actually. An ancient DJ booth. Yo, DJ Ruth in the house! <laughs> Let's go! Korean drinking games explained by Christine. So this is the most basic Korean drinking game that everyone can play. And we're literally just flicking the cap. And then after we flick the cap, whoever flicks it off, the people next to them have to drink. So if I flick it off, you guys have to drink. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I'm hitting it from the this you side. Ah! <gasps> I almost killed that thing. Oh. Ready? Three, two, one. Ah, that was weak. <laughs> All right, another rule, so I can call it, right? If I think that I'm gonna flick it off, I'm gonna call it, and if I flick it off, everyone drinks. Oh. But, then, but, but if, if I don't, don't, then I drink. Okay, so you're gonna call Yo, it? Yo, that's pretty advanced. I've never heard that version. Call it. I didn't I'm know. not gonna call it. All right, go, you, go, go. You are a power I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it. You're gonna call it. Just, just, I'm gonna call it. But what happens if wait? Oh you swung and you Edit. missed. Ooh, that's right, baby. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. To win. Oh, I've never had a cocktail topped off with red wine. That's delicious. Mmm, it's good. Dude, you know, there's a lot of like fusion drinks available in 2023, but you know, there's only a few people who really pull that mixture of traditional culture with like modern Western bar culture together. This this came together. All right, we are here at Jongro Gopjang. We got the two different types of Gopjang. They're going. Christine, you're kind of the Gopjang enthusiast here, so you explain you what's are going the on. Gopjang captain. So this is a Yang Yang Gopjang, oh. which means seasoned gopchang or marinated gopchang. Okay. And this over here is just your original just fried or grilled gopchang. Okay, and, but you have different types of gopchang. We're talking about intestines, of course, right? But yeah. there's different types of intestines. So this is the small intestine that he's cutting right now. This is the big intestine right here. And this is tripe. And this is bakchang, which is entrail. Ooh. And right here is the heart. Whoa. Well, I've tried this before, which is like the traditional way to eat intestines, but I've never tried it marinated. Okay. So, Me neither. I, I'm with gonna you. gonna try it with me. Everybody, let's go in and yeah, try me. the marinated. This is very, very popular um, style. It's supposed to be a little bit spicy and sweet. You know, maybe like roasted barbecue flavor. So let's go. Let's go for it. Cheers. 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 Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Damn. That's really good. I honestly do not usually like the chong. Really? I usually don't. Yeah, but this. 
I mean, to be honest, it's kind of good because I can't tell what it is. So he just added the pastu with fish thyme. So what we do is wait for it to get grilled and then we eat it with the pastu. And then mm. now he's going to put the garlic cheese powder on top of the pastu. Oh. Whoa. Would this be a little bit more of a newer thing? Like maybe not as traditional? Yeah, I've yeah. never seen this before. It gets a little, bit, a little bit more flavor. You know what I like about Korean food is like there's steps to things. So it's like you can eat it at every step, but it's going to taste different. You know what I mean? So it's like, yo, throw the chives on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Throw the powder on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Probably something else is going to happen. Mmm. It's so good. Juicy. Wow. It's good. I love it. It's, a, it's really interesting. It holds wow. on to the flavor almost like it's a piece of fat. Mm. Like that's really good. Wow. I usually don't like big intestines, but this is really good. Like I've wow. never tried it with, what's that powder? Garlic cheese powder. Mm. Could you pass me some small intestine, please? <laughs> please, sir. All right, guys, I'm gonna dip okay. it in a little bit of spice of powder. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know, which one do you like more? The OG? or the marinated. Ooh. That's tasty? tough. I mean, I feel like right out of the plate, this yeah. is obviously like all marinated and cooked for you. Yeah. But there is a magic about that one, especially the big intestine, I'm a fan. All right, so I got a bite here. I have a lettuce wrap, I have the radish, I have the grilled chives from the OG plate, but then I put it with the uh, sweet and sour gopchang, which is the small big intestine and the heart and the tripe. Sprinkle with some small lao. Mm. How does that taste? How does that taste? A lot of flavors. Going you gotta on. chew the intestines for a while, guys. No. It tastes you gotta, great. You break them down. No, it tastes great. It's just a lot going on though in my mouth. You got a whole pig's internal organs. <laughs> <laughs> You got the whole biological system. <laughs> they do not just have intestines here at Jungro Gopchang. They also got seafood here. Christine, what are we looking at? So we're looking at nakkopse, which is nakji is octopus. Kop is for kopchan and se is for seu. So that's like the, what was it? Serpent turf. And then you, of course, you have your mushroom plate here, which I love. So I'm gonna try the broth first because broth is just the heart of the soup. Mm. The soup. This is good. This is good. Mm. I'm telling you, man, okay. I'm, I'm a fan of some seafood stews. Woo. Woo. Get yourself a little tentacle Ooh. like that. Got a kick. Or some tripe. You know what's funny? Stomach the, lining. It's funny that the small intestine and the uh, tentacle kind of have the same shape. Ruth, you did have a message out there to all the Korea boos out there. It's like, if you want the extra points when you're a Korea boo, you kind of got to eat this, right? Yeah. This is the real authentic stuff. Because usually, you know, when people hear, oh, big intestine or small intestines, they get like gross style. But if you're willing to try it, you get, you get points. Mm. You get points. Don't be soft, guys. Yeah. Don't be soft. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. All right, we got the Korean gatekeepers here. All right, guys, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. The broth. This is fire. Yeah. This dish was a sleeper because when I first saw it and it, when it came out, I really didn't know what to expect, but it's really, really good, man. Wow. All right, everybody. So whether it's brand new Kaiten sushi or energetic Korean barbecue or traditional gopjang, you guys already know where to go, but we got to get some sweets. So we're going to go to Machi Machi and Afternoon. Let's eat some Korean snacks. Let's go. All right, so now we're grabbing some snacks. Here is Machi Machi. In the back of us is afternoon. It's cool that they share the same space because they're kind of like the cool, kind of affordable snacks of K-Town. Brand new concepts. Machi Machi's from Taiwan. Amazing boba. I got the creme brulee one. You got the grapefruit palmello. I got the strawberry. With the panna cotta at the bottom. Yep. Panna cotta. And then you, I think you have the black tea with panna cotta. Black tea. Yo, bo bobas are getting bougie Should now. Should we try this? Yeah. Cheers. 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 This drink was fire. This is one of the best like drinks I had in a long time. Let me so get this good. creme brulee though. I gotta get the sugar part. <laughs> that is decadent. All right, so what I love about this spot is that we went to so many other restaurants that obviously are like very like, where you can drink and you know, a lot of adults will go, but this kind of has that young energy. It's like good vibes and I also really like the packaging. It's very new, it's very new. Different it's form tasty. factor. I like it. Hey, I got this sweet plum jasmine drink. You have the... Grapefruit. Green tea. Tea flush with jelly. Yeah. <laughs> this is just green tea with panna cotta. 
Yo, panna cotta makes everything better, actually. Yes. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> this one's really refreshing. I recommend it. All right, so to order a Jongro hot dog, you can actually order outside, which I think is really cool. I mean, look at all the options they have. Do you want a sweet potato, a Whoa. cheese, mozzarella? Let's do one like classic, and then let's do another one. Like, this is pretty classic potato, in potato, Korea, potato. right? Potato, potato. All right, you guys, we were at Jongro BBQ, but now we're at Jongro hot dog. How do, how do we, what do we call these in Korea? Hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog or hot dog? Hot dog. Hot dog or hot dog? All right, wait, what do you guys get? Kondogo. Uh, that's new to me. The ramen one yeah, is new. Yeah, I'm gonna get a classic for me. Okay. Keep it classic, you know? Big. Oh. I'm gonna do the potato. Oh, I gotta go with the ramen one. I haven't even seen this one. Ooh. Oh, David, what do you try with some smala? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. All right, guys, and then here I have the dopoki with the chopped up kondogo. Let's go, man. Shout out to Jungle oh, Hot cheers. Dog. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. guys. That's so... Whoa! <laughs> it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Mmm. Woo! That pool. Wow. And I think wow. one of the coolest things about Jong Ro Hot Dog is like the outdoor seating area that they share with some other spots. When the weather is good, people are just outside chilling. Nice day. But well, you eating a corn dog outside? What is this? A carnival? It's a carnival on K Town. Yeah. Guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. I have a big sweet tooth. We're so. here at Mochi Mochi. They have mochi donuts. And I mean, this is a product that originates from Japan. But I think that this one right here, the variety and the diversity of flavors that they have here is crazy. You know what we're going to do? We're going to get one of these. Got to. Yeah. all of them. Because how can you pick? You got to just do them all. All right, like we said, guys, they got afternoon, which has got the Korean corn dogs. They got the mochi donuts, of course, machi machi. What are you guys going for first? I feel like we gotta try the angel meal. Can we start off with that? Yeah, we got okay, to. I'm gonna grab it. Ah! Uh... <laughs> you know what's really interesting about the angel meal is like it tastes kind of healthy and good. Yeah. And then you're contrasting that with the donut. That was really interesting. It's like a little nutty. It's really good. Not too sweet. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. Mm. You might really notice about them, Mochi Mochi, they make sure their donuts look like the display donuts. Yeah. Sometimes people be tricking you. You know, these donuts are a little bit chewy, but they break down really nicely and they're really fluffy. I've had ones that were very chewy and almost like too thick on the inside. These are really great, great balance. Oh my goodness. I had ube and now I'm going for green tea. I what mean, do you think it is? So good. I'm trying the milk tea one. Between afternoon and Jung Ro hot dog, I just feel like they're just serving all the things that like, you know, people want. These are the snacks and they're popular and honestly it's probably the trendiest food stall in all of K-Town.